Greetings viewers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, our last big haul of new Icon tools. This video will cover most likely the wrenches. We've got the anti-slip grip wrench set metric six to 19. We've got the add-on large combination wrench set 20 to 24. We've got the half inch drive metric shallow sockets, the half inch drive metric deep sockets, and we've got a 90 tooth icon half inch drive ratchet. I'm gonna break these down into probably two videos, maybe three, one on the wrenches, one on the sockets and the ratchet, or one on the sockets and one on the ratchet. Not sure exactly which way we're gonna break it down. As with the, all the other videos, as with everything else in this series, all of this was purchased at my local Harbor Freight store with my own money. This was not sent to me, this is not given to me, this is no um, uh, uh, sponsored content, nothing of that nature. The only thing that sponsored this was my wallet. So we're gonna get into this and uh, like I said, this video, we're probably gonna focus on the wrenches. We'll be comparing them to the Snap-on Flank Drive Plus wrenches, comparing them with these anti-slip grip icons. Uh, this will basically be an unboxing overview of the wrenches. We will have videos in the future where we'll put them head to head, see their gripping strength, see which one uh, bites into the fastener better, see which one is overall uh, the better wrench. The half inch sockets, we will compare of course to the snap-on half inch metric sockets as well as the ratchet for a half inch snap-on dual 80 ratchet. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into this and take a look at these wrenches. So we're gonna take a look at the Metric Icon Anti-Slip Grip Wrench Set, part number WCAM-14, and the Large Combination Metric Wrench Set, part number WCM-5. The bigger set is a six to 19, no skips. The larger set is 20 to 24 with no skips. Both of them come in a blow molded plastic case. Both of them lifetime warrantied chrome plated, all the nine yards you'd expect. Now, as far as pricing is concerned on these two sets, the larger set will run you $99.99 and the five piece jumbo add-on will be $65.99. So let's go ahead and get these unboxed and get a better look at them. All right, got both sets unboxed, and what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna take a look, make sure I don't see any obvious defects in the material workmanship with these wrenches, make sure there's no quality control issues. In the socket video on the 3.8 sockets, if you recall, right off the boat, I found a defect in the 19's chrome. Nothing that's gonna affect the function of the socket, but still a defect nonetheless. So far not seeing anything on these wrenches, but just want to check and make sure. All right, so no glaringly obvious defects or issues off hand. With that said, uh, let me get the boxes, read a couple bullet points for you. Uh, icons on marketing information, uh, a little bit of specifications on our long handle wrenches. Our 20 millimeter is 11 and 3 8 inches long, moving up to the 24, which is 13 and a quarter inches long. When we look at our standard wrenches, we start out at five and an eighth of an inch long for the six millimeter and moving up to 11 inches long for the 19 millimeter. 
These wrenches have the anti-slip grip, the little teeth in the ends of the jaw we'll look at later more uh, closely. 15 degree offset on the box end, chrome plated, all that good stuff you'd expect from a professional grade wrench. With the larger wrenches also have a 15 degree offset. They do not have the anti-slip grip. They're just a regular uh, smooth jaw open end. But like I said, from here we're gonna move in and take a more up close look at them and uh, check them out against the comparable flank drive plus snap-on wrenches. All right, just for an easy comparison, we're gonna take the Flank Drive Plus Snap-on 19 mil and the Icon Anti-Slip Grip 19 millimeter. So we can compare them. Overall, the Icon and Snap-on are basically the exact same length. We lay them over top of each other. Everything basically aligns in the box end and open end. Look at them from the side profile. Do we see the Icon is just a hair thinner at the head than the snap-on is. And from here, we'll probably switch over to the macro lens so I can get up close and check out all the fine details between the two. All right, switching over to the macro. We can now get a look at the Flank Drive Plus here on the outside and compare that to the Icon on the back side. Just looking at their anti-slip open end checking the differences between the teeth of the icon and the shape of the icon versus the shape and teeth on the snap-on. As I said before, the icon is a bit thinner than the snap-on head. On the box end, both have the same 15 degree offset. Very similar font on the marking for the size. Of course, the snap-on is not as shiny as the Icon. This wrench is about five, six years old at this point. But yeah, that's the basics of uh, the comparison between these two. Uh, we'll have to get into more in-depth testing in a later video. We're going to be running them head to head, see which of these designs uh, is more durable, which one bites and grips in better to fasteners, and uh, see which one is uh, the better wrench at the end of the day. With that said, I'll go ahead and end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.